the church celebrates this sixth sunday of the lent as both palm sunday and passion sunday this is the time of the year we stop to remember and relieve the events which brought about our redemption and salvation what we commemorate and relieve during this week is not just jesus dying and rising but our own dying and rising in jesus which will result our healing reconciliation and redemption attentive participation in the holy week liturgy will deepen our relationship with god increase our faith and strengthen our lives as disciples of jesus today's liturgy combines contrasting moments one of glory the other of suffering the royal welcome of jesus in jerusalem and the drama of trial culminating in the crucifixion death and burial of the christ today's first reading the third of isaiah's four servant songs like the other three foreshadows jesus own life and mission the refrain for today's responsorial psalm taken from psalm 22 my god my god why have you for abandoned me plunges us into the heart of christ's passion The second reading taken from Paul's letter to the Philippians is an ancient Christian hymn representing a very early Christian understanding of who Jesus is and of how his mission saves us from sin and death. The first part of today's gospel describes the royal reception of Jesus received from his admirers who paraded with him for a distance of the 2 miles between the mount of olives and the city of jerusalem in the second part of today's gospel we listen to or participate in a reading of passion of christ according to luke we are challenged to examine our own lives in the light of some of the characters in the passion story like peter who denied jesus Judas who betrayed Jesus, Herod who ridiculed Jesus, Pilate who acted against his conscience as he condemned Jesus to death on the cross, and the elders of the people who preserved their position by getting rid of Jesus. We need to answer five questions today. First question, does Jesus weep over my sinful soul as he wept over the slave at the beginning of his palm sunday procession am i a barren tree god expects me to produce fruits of holiness purity justice humility obedience charity and forgiveness do i or worse do i continue to produce bitter fruits of impurity injustice pride hatred jealousy and selfishness third will jesus need to cleanse my heart with his Whip. Jesus cannot tolerate the discretion of the temple of the Holy Spirit by my addictions to uncharitable and just impure thoughts words and deeds nor does this price my business mentality or calculations of loss and gain in my relationship with the God my father fourth do i welcome Jesus into my heart am i ready to surrender my life to him during this holy week and welcome him into all areas of my life as my lord and savior let us remember that we are all sinners who have crucified christ by our sins but we are still able to turn to jesus again to ask for pardon and mercy in the sacramental reconciliation it is through the passion of jesus that we receive forgiveness with his strips we are healed isaiah 53:5 Are we like the humble donkey that carried Jesus bringing Jesus universal love unconditional forgiveness and sacrificial service to our families place of work and communities by the way we live our lives every day so this holy week be transforming one in our life may the passion and death of Christ heal every wound of our life and i pray may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen